Hi, I'm AJ Hoag, the director of Effortless English. Today's student question, what is the best way to learn English vocabulary? Well, I'll tell you the worst way to learn English vocabulary first, and that is to try to memorize long lists of words. This is the normal textbook approach that you probably tried in school. Or you have in the, the back of each chapter, you have a long list of English words and then a translation to your language. And you sit there and you try to rem remember each one. You repeat them again and again and try to memorize this list. And what happens? If you're successful, you remember the vocabulary long enough to take the test. And then a few days after the test, you forget most of it. So obviously that's not such a good way to learn English vocabulary. There is a better way and there's kind of a little simple trick you can use. And it's to use physical actions to help you remember the meaning of a new word. So let's say you find a new word, a new English word, um, obnoxious. Obnoxious. And you're like, you, you look it up and you find obnoxious means very kind of loud and rude. Loud, rude, and annoying. That's what obnoxious means. So you can just try to remember that, obnoxious, rude and annoying, obnoxious, rude and annoying. You repeat that again and again and again. But probably you're going to forget that several days later if you learn that way. Here's a better way to do it. You create some physical action, a very strong physical action. Something kind of a little crazy, silly, something you will easily remember that reminds you of the meaning of the word. So for example, obnoxious, if obnoxious means loud and rude, then we'll make a rude movement and, and a rude action and we'll say the word at the same time. So for example, for obnoxious, we might do this, obnoxious. And then you stop and then you do it again, obnoxious. And then you do it again, obnoxious. Right now, so this is a rude gesture, a rude movement in English, very rude. It's very obnoxious, right? So when I say the word strongly, obnoxious, and I do a strong action that's easy to remember, that helps me remember the meaning, when I do those two things together, something special happens in my brain and in your brain too. It creates a connection in your brain between the action, the movement, and the word. And these three things together make it much, much, much easier to remember a new word and to remember its meaning. So to practice and remember the word obnoxious, you just do this many times with a lot of energy, a very strong movement, and saying the word, obnoxious. Try it with me now. It's crazy, but just do it. If you're at home or somewhere quiet where no one's around, try this. Shout the word obnoxious and do this obnoxious, rude gesture. Obnoxious. Obnoxious! 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 Now if you use your face, it makes it even stronger. You see I'm making my face kind of like, a, like an ugly, rude person. My voice sounds very loud because obnoxious has this idea of loud, annoying, rude. So I'm doing all these things together. Obnoxious! Obnoxious! So you just do this again and again and again, maybe 20 times, maybe 30 times in a short period of time. And the more energy you use and the stronger the action and the more the action is connected to the meaning, the better you will remember. So this technique is a very easy way to remember vocabulary. So again, how do we do it? Step one, find the meaning of the word. Step two, Create a strong action or gesture or movement that reminds you of the meaning, that is somehow connected to the meaning of the word. Step three, say the word strongly while doing that action. And step four, repeat this again and again and again in a short time period. By using this technique, you can remember more vocabulary in a faster time. And that's our tip for today. Thank you.